Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture we will practice visibility modifiers and encapsulation. So let's go to IntelliJ. So as you can see I'm inside IntelliJ. The main class over here is inside this package. So let's create another class inside this package. So over here right click on the package and go to new Java class. Let's call this class C1 for example and press enter. As you can see over here this class by default will be a public class. So this class can be accessed from anywhere. But I don't want it to be public. I want it to be accessible from inside this package only. So let's remove the public keyword. And now the visibility of this class will be default visibility. So we will be able to access it from all the classes inside this package. In other words, we will be able to access it from the main class. Because the main class is also inside the same package. Alright? So let's go to the class C1. And let's add a public attribute which is an integer x. Now let's go to the main class and over here let's try to create an object of type C1. So let's say new C1. As you can see we can choose the class C1 from this menu. So we are able to access the class C1 from inside the main class. Now let's press enter and as you can see nothing will be imported. Because the class C1 is inside the same package as the class main. And we already have access to this package. So we don't need to import it. So over here we created an object of type C1. Now let's use the dot operator. As you can see over here, we can access the X data field because it is public. Now let's go to this class and let's change the public to be private. Now we cannot access the X attribute using the dot operator outside the C1 class. So let's go to the main class and now let's use the dot operator and you will see that we don't see X over here. So to be able to get the value of X, we need to create a getter and to be able to change the value of X, we need to create a setter. So let's do that. Let's go to the C1 class and over here I will show you a shortcut. Press Alt and Insert and this menu will appear. Let's choose Getter and Setter and here we will choose the data fields that we want to create getters and setters for. As you can see the data field X is chosen and let's press OK. You will see that the getter and the setter for the variable X are automatically created. And as you can see the names of these methods are as we discussed before. So the getter is called get and then the name of the attribute and the setter is called set and then the name of the attribute. And notice that both of these methods are public. So we are able to access them using the dot operator. So over here let's use the dot operator and you will see get x and set x. Alright? Now let me remove this statement and let's go to the class C1. Over here I will say that this class belongs to a package that is called P1 for example. As you see we have an error. Press alt and enter and let's say move to package P1. So press enter. And now as you can see over here, inside this package, a package that is called P1 was created and inside it we have the class C1. So now the main class and the class C1 are in different packages. And since the visibility of this class is default visibility, we will not be able to access it inside the main class. So let's try to do that. I will try to create an object of type C1 and as you can see, we don't have C1 over here. Now let's go to the class C1 and change it to be a public class. Now we will be able to access the class C1 from any class in any package. So let's go to the main class and let's try to create an object from the class C1 and as you see we have C1 over here. If you press enter the class C1 will be imported over here. We are importing the class C1 from this package. And after that we are able to use it. So we can use the dot operator and for example use the getter and the setter of the variable x. This is it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.